Okay, don't be put off by the title of this section. All we're talking about is how we can construct CSS. In other words, what are the rules? And the first rules are quite simple. White space is not important. Therefore, you can leave spaces where you want to and don't have to worry about it. The other thing is you don't need to worry about case because CSS is case insensitive. Use capitals, use small, use whatever you want. And the third general point I want to make is that you can add comments to your code. So let's have a look at a bit of example code. The example code is the code on the left of this screen. These words on the right are the words which help to describe and explain what this is on the left. And these are the words that you're going to need to learn as we go through the CSS course because these are the words and phrases that we're going to use. The very first line of this example code is a comment. It says this is a comment. And you add comments by adding an opening forward slash asterisk and you close comments with an asterisk forward slash. Anything in between those two is the comment. What we've got next is a statement. And a statement is made up of, in this case, the H1, the opening curly brackets, color, colon, blue, semicolon, background color, colon, yellow, semicolon, and closing curly brackets. That is a statement. Now there are different types of statement, but we're not going to go too much into this. In this particular case, this statement is made up of a selector, which is H1. And what this means is that any H1 header on the page is going to be formatted according to what's found inside the declaration block. And the declaration block is anything inside the opening curly brackets and closing curly brackets. So in this particular case, a web page that uses this CSS, all the H1 headers are going to be blue with a background of yellow. Now I should point out here that this is a very simple selector, H1. We're going to see more complicated ones as we do this course. So in general, the selector is anything to the left of the opening curly brackets. The declaration block we've already mentioned is anything between the two curly brackets. And the declaration block is made up of declarations. And these declarations define attributes of the selector that we're trying to change. So in this case, color blue is being applied to the H1 header, as is background color yellow being applied to the H1 header. Now, fortunately, the live weave program that we're going to use for building CSS and playing around with CSS helps us with a lot of this stuff. So we don't have to remember specific declarations. We can start to type a declaration and it will pop up on the screen for us. It will also create the opening and closing curly brackets and help with selectors as well. So we don't have to remember too much. But let's just recap on what the four words over here means. The statement is everything from the H1 down to the closing curly bracket. The selector is anything to the left of the opening curly bracket. The declaration block is anything between the curly braces. And the declaration block is made up of declarations. In this example, there are two declarations. Color equals blue, black ground, background color equals yellow. So declarations refer to individual attributes of the selector, in this case H1, making all H1 headers on a page that uses this CSS blue with a yellow background. And just to show you what that looks like, here it is inside LiveWeave, where we've got some simple code. We've got a single H1 header in the HTML code, and then the CSS, we have the selector, the declaration block, and two declarations, blue, you can see the text over here is blue, background yellow, you can see the background is yellow. I recommend you go over this video a few times until you are familiar and happy with using these words over here, statement, selector, declaration block, and declaration.